In time, I got another snap from Kate. I opened it immediately. Somebody in your, by your car. It was a picture of her legs in a dark room. I'm not totally mad because I've been that kid in the shoes was like, <laughs> the dog is activated, you just horny. And it's so many stupid things I did from these apps my damn self. Snapchat, is Snapchat uh still a thing though, but bro, bro I can I couldn't even jump on the train. I was gonna bro, I was gonna get on Snapchat, but around the time that it was like popping, I was like fresh in, in a relationship and my cousin was showing me everything that be going down on that mug, bro. I was like, oh, it's like a little strip show on look. For the sake of my relationship, I did not jump on it. About to check out uh Snapchat horror stories by the homie Mr. Nightmare on the video. Link will be in the description below. But let's go. Hold up, Candace Michaels. That could not be, t that's 1080p. This was not even a month ago, so all the small details are still fresh in my mind. I have been using dating apps on and off for years. I think Tinder sucks along with its customer service. Right, I've yeah, never been of Hinge or OkCupid. OkCupid. Okay, okay, Bumble. In my Bumble. Go back, my bad, yo, I got man, I've never so much. Hinge or OkCupid. Okay, I mainly use Bumble. In my Bumble bio, I have my height, which is 4'11", I make a joke about being short, and then I have my Instagram and Snap at the bottom. Because of that, I get a decent amount of random follow requests on Instagram. Half the time I don't follow them back. I also get a lot of random people adding me on Snap, probably more on there than on Instagram. I usually only add them back if I recognize their name from a recent conversation on Bumble, or if their Bitmoji looks I never heard of Bumble. I know, that sounds weird. I deal with a lot of stupid, disgusting boys on Bumble, but it's not as bad as Tinder. Still, I'll often have the typical douche frat boy asking if I do hookups or sending any kind of provocative DTL? messages. Usually when that happens, I'll mess with them a little bit and then unmatch them. This one time, I guess three almost- See, but girls always be doing something. Don't get wrong, I, look, I don't mind it, but look, why do girls be doing stuff like that? Like, she is legit saying thirst traps, I ain't gonna cap. Not saying she deserved whatever she's about to get. I am not one of them people, I, and I don't deal with that. But at the same time, though, like, I get it. She having fun, but hey, what's having fun with you to somebody else? Might be a Looney Tune on the other end, on the other end. We don't know. Get that book out your nose. Happens. I'll mess with them a little bit and then I'll match them. This one time, I guess three, almost four weeks ago, I matched this actually pretty attractive guy. He sent some pickup line that was kind of creative and got my attention. What is that? Pretty soon, he asked for my snap. Then seconds later, he added me after noticing I had my snap in my bio anyway. So I added him back because why not? He started messaging me on snap. I screenshotted the first two pics on his Bumble profile and sent it to my girlfriends, mentioning how attractive he is. My friend Gianna replied right away saying it's a catfish. She matched it too. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm telling you bro. When you get on these apps, these sites, I'm telling you dude. If anybody messaged you first, they gonna look decent or ugly. Ain't nobody bad gonna, I don't care boy or girl, they're not gonna message you first. They know they look good, trust me. We, we already aware of that. We know we look hella good. We not gonna send no message because we know we gonna get messages. I don't say people fall for it. My friend Gianna replied right away saying it's a catfish. She matched it too. <laughs> so I decided I'd mess with them a little bit. See? The things he was messaging See? me on Snap were slowly progressing to be more sexual. So I started saying the most unattractive things possible, and they started getting noticeably salty. I said I would be down to come over if they sent me a selfie. He didn't send a selfie, of course. He just replied with a message asking what my address is. I didn't reply at first, I thought asking was my girls what I should do next. What would you think? But then I got a notification that the guy screenshotted my Snapchat profile. I immediately blocked him and remembered I had my location on the snap map as public. Why is why is that an option? <laughs> oh my god, why why is that an option for for someone's Oh my gosh. Why do you even have it on one anyway? Wow. I immediately blocked him and remembered Too I had late. my location on the snap map as public. The problem is the houses in my area are spaced out enough where he could easily identify which house I was in. I panicked, asking my girlfriend oh, what you. to do. They tried to calm me down. <laughs> no. uh, you get the hell away from me is what you can do because he ain't about to kill me Assuring too, clown. Me there was no chance he'd come to my house. 
they did a good job because they made me realize how ridiculous him coming to my house sounded. They cap. They just try to make you feel good. I was watching New Girl on Netflix. It's my the ish. doorbell suddenly rang. I paused the show and I felt my heart jump into my throat. I was home alone, not expecting my parents or siblings, and it was past 10. I turned off my bedroom light and TV screen. I wanted total darkness to give the illusion no one was home. I suddenly got a notification that someone added me on Snap. The username was, it's me, add me back. I blocked the account immediately. Two minutes later, another account added me on Snap. This one the username was, I'm outside your house. Oh my god, this I screenshotted that and sent it to my friends and family. Now in Don't send it to your friends, send it to the police, goofy! Here's, I blocked it as well. Call number one. Long pause now. I hoped maybe he had given up. Back door unlocked. During that time, I was texting friends and family, but ignoring all their phone calls because I was so paranoid that I'd be heard from outside. Finally, I got another dreaded notification from Snap. He inside. Saying someone added me. Is this time the username said, I'm looking right at you. Oh my f- I turned to the window, naturally. I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd just ran out of the room and called 911. But I looked and saw him looking into my room. This disgusting, smiling man. I'm sure my face turned completely ghostly white as I looked I, at I him. I bet, and, and see, and that's what I was talking about, see what I'm saying? Not, not at all saying she deserves, deserves this at all. No one does. But you gotta, you gotta be careful, clown. You on it, I get it. Like you on the social media playing people and don't even know your damn location though. Somebody, they, they, they not gonna find that funny. It's not a joke to them. Should've known it was fake when you said that when he hit you up, he was bad. You know you don't look good. Get up, get out of here. Like smiling man. I'm sure my face turned completely ghostly white as I I know my love. <laughs> I ran out of the entire house, screaming at the top of my lungs down the street. Did I hear that right? He was looking at you from outside, and you ran outside. I'm tripping. 911. But I looked and saw him looking into my room. This disgusting, smiling man. I'm sure my face turned completely ghostly white as I looked at him. I ran out of the entire house, screaming at the top of my lungs down the street. Two neighbors came outside in response, and I basically ran into one of their arms, crying for help. I would have did the that part. They called the police for me, but the man was not found in or around the house. I somehow had to gather the courage to go back into that house and stay there for the night. I locked myself in my parents' room since it's the only bedroom upstairs with. A you ran out. The house. You ran out the house. So I know you didn't lock the door because if, if if I'm chasing your ass. You try to run fast out the house. You're not going to run. Ah! Turn around, boom, 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 do them locks. You're going to dip out the house, right? Call the cops. Boom, boom, boom. Boys come. They don't find nobody. Forget it. We don't know where bro at. My door been unlocked this whole time because I ran out the damn house. I'm going to go back in the house. I'm going to sleep in my parents' room because this might be a little safer in their room. Oh, my gosh. I, oh, hey there, gosh. The I locked myself in my parents' room since it's the only bedroom upstairs with a lock. And I prayed I'd be able to fall asleep. Kind of trap house y'all live in. I lay awake for seemingly hours though. And eventually I knew for a fact I heard something outside the door. Like tiny, soft footsteps causing ever so slight cracks in the wood. I sat up and stared at the bottom of the door. You bounce. Dreading the lights outside turning on or someone trying to open the door. I grabbed my cell phone and dialed 911. I don't got no weapons? I immediately weapons? said to the operator in a quiet whisper that someone was inside my house and I was alone. But maybe I didn't say it quietly enough, because footsteps on the other side of the door confirmed that I was right. I wasn't just hearing things. The footsteps walked away from the door quickly, and I heard them go down the stairs, and eventually I heard the front storm door slam shut. The cops arrived shortly. The same cops had returned. This time, they wouldn't allow me to sleep there the rest of the night. Thank you! I called my friend Gianna, who was still awake. And she said I could come sleep over for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, bring your ass here because he gonna Police follow. escorted me there after I locked up my house. I'm grateful I didn't fall asleep that night, as I wouldn't have heard those tiny footsteps outside my room. And I might not have called the cops in time. Yep, because he might would have got you. Luckily, dude, or if it was a dude, was like dumb scary though. Because if he ran just from, just from you simply calling the cops. Because it sounds like... If somebody was already in the house and they wanted to harm you, they could have heard but did the boom, 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 and dipped out. Because when you call the cops, they're going to take at least about five minutes to get there. J. 
Ty. Sound like somebody with the ish. I hardly use Snap. I find it to be an immature form of communication. I only have one so I can receive snaps from friends and occasionally send know. people snaps on my vacation somewhere or doing something fun. I do not view Snapchat as a viable replacement for simply texting someone. That being said, when this girl Kate that I hadn't heard from in months, who I was kind of into, one night randomly snapped me, my face lit up a bit. She snapped me a picture in a dark room, presumably her bedroom, saying, what are you doing? I replied with an awkward selfie, saying, watching shit, friends. I Made more chill. awkward with the obnoxious- I'm my man, that's how you give that heat chill. Like, shit, chillin', man, what you up to? <laughs> shit, I'm just chillin', you know what I'm saying? Shit, what's, what's good? <laughs> I swear niggas get so cool, bro. <laughs> hey, what you doing? I said, I ain't doing nothing, bro. I'm just chilling, cuz what's good? <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> said, what's your ass up to, though? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Look, I'm look, my bad. I'm sorry, bro. I, I was the king of these dating apps, dude. I ain't gonna tell y'all too much, cause it, look, I don't want y'all to be judging me. Look, I look, I was a little horny kid in college, bro. Apps was a thing. I almost every dating app you think of, Charlie probably ran through it. But. Snapchat is a viable replacement for simply texting someone. That being said, when this girl Kate that I hadn't heard from in months, who I was kind of into, one night randomly snapped me, my face lit up a bit. She snapped me a picture in a dark room, presumably her bedroom, saying, what are you doing? I replied with an awkward selfie, saying, watching friends, made more awkward with the obnoxiously bright flash from my phone. Another reason I hate Snapchat, because I look terrible in selfies. I don't like taking selfies. Expecting her to run away after my selfie, she actually snapped back. I could barely make out part of her face. It was 90% black wherever she was with a hint of red glow. She said in the snap to come to her place. Hell I was no. done with the stupid selfies, so I just messaged her back asking where. She sent an address. It was 10 minutes away. I was bored, so why not? You I was horny. You wasn't bored. I started following towards the address. It wasn't that far. I was there quicker than expected, but I'm also a speedy driver. The address was of a house at the edge of the same town I live in. Since I have her number, I just texted her. But with my car idling and her not answering right away, I decided to just call her. The call was answered. This one kind of sound familiar. I ain't watched this one already, did I? Cause he gonna get there. I think it's gonna be like like some big dude or something, right? Gonna be she like it's gonna be like somebody telling him to come in, and he gonna see some big dude. I think. I don't know. This will sound familiar. I hope I ain't already watch it. If I did, oh well. Idling and her not answering right away, I decided to just call her. The call was answered, answer. but she didn't say anything on the other end. Hello? In fact, all I heard was garbled background noise, likely because the phone was answered by accident. I said hello a few times, hoping maybe she'd hear me in her back pocket or wherever her phone might have been. I listened for a little while, and eventually I started hearing a man's voice in the background. I screamed hello two more times into the phone. And then I distinctly heard it's in a girl dude. scream, help me, before the call was hung up. I didn't know what to make of all of that. I texted her. Hey, I'm sorry. That, because I watch so many movies, even though you sound like you need help, I'm sorry. That sounds like a setup to me. I, I call the, I'm call the boys for you. I, I'm, I'm going to call them and make sure they get there. But I'm not about to be the one to go in there and help you because I already know this is a setup. Why did you tell me to come over and some dude already there? Either you already had a dude or a dude already over there because he came to do what I'm trying to do. Nah. I don't trust it. Nah. Help me mm -mm. before the call was hung up. I didn't know what to make of all of that. I texted her one more time, what's going on? Minutes she later, I got a text back saying, come in, I just opened the front door. You bet not. I looked at the house, and sure enough, the front door was left open now. At the same time, I got another snap from Kate. I opened it immediately. Somebody in your, by your car. It was a picture of her legs in a dark room. She was wearing ripped jeans, and it looked like she was sitting on the floor. Something wasn't right here. I wasn't. If, going if, if a girl keep on sending me pictures and it's dark as hell, I I, I don't want to go right anyway because I'm like this is this is some kid is my plan. You don't know how to take a picture. 
everyone you send me is just dark and I can barely see you. You ain't never, never once I said, hey, yo, send me something so I can actually see you because I can't see. When dude's horny, bro, I swear, we just don't care. And, and, I've, and I'm not totally mad because I've been that kid in the shoes was like, <laughs> the dog is activated, you just horny. And it's so many stupid things I did from these apps my damn self. But you got to be smarter, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I could have easily got set up from these apps like four or five times, bro. And it looked like she was but sitting on the care. floor. Something wasn't right here. I wasn't going in that house. I called 911 and reported Told a you. possible kidnapping situation. In the meantime, while waiting for the cops, I texted back the number, saying one second I'm on a phone call, then I'll come right in. But there was no answer. Oh my God. I, I hope you're not really about the to. number, saying one second I'm on a phone call, then I'll come right in. But there was no answer. In fact, the next time I looked at the front door of the house, it was closed now. I was worried that what I was imagining was coming true. The cop car eventually pulled up behind my car, and I pointed them at the house. Another cop car pulled up quickly across the street, and two more cops got out. A total of four cops were knocking at the front door. A man opened the door, and they identified that they received a reported kidnapping in the house. One of the police officers actually let himself into the house past the man, the other two followed while one stood with me by the front porch. Not even 30 seconds later, one of the cops yelled at the other two to get him in cuffs. The girl's cries for help soon became apparent from the basement. I was in absolute shock when the girl I recognized as Kate was being escorted out of the house in tears. She was a wreck. She looked like what? she had just experienced a life-changing trauma. I can't even imagine. This wasn't even her house. This was apparently the man's house. Oh, and the he girl's was trying to lure you there too far, so she was brought there. Obviously, the man was brought to jail, and I'm sure he's now in prison. That Kate girl really did. When people be telling me stories, they be like, yo, you know when you go to jail for, like, molesting or do something to kid, I, like, they'll rape you and beat you in there. I be, I be praying to God that shit true. I don't care what you say. I, I hate people who pray on little kids. I not even pray. Oh, there's, I, I don't care if you, if you are one of them and you watch the video right now. There's no way you should ever look at a kid not only want to have sex with them, but to take them away from their family, take them, just try to take their life away. That is legit traumatizing as hell and is nasty and it's not right. There's nothing good about it. I don't care. You are sick in this damn to talk world. to me too much beyond thanking me for saving her life a bunch of times. I'm not mad about Shit, it. Though. You love I understand. Girl, I'm, I'm saying I had so bad. <laughs> whatever she went through in that basement is probably something no one wants to think about. Yeah, that's crazy. And you know he was capping like shit. You know I ain't scared of no nigga. I came in that motherfucker good. Got them niggas up off you, cuz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she like Charlie, you so gangsta. <laughs> it's probably something no I'm one saying, wants to think about. <laughs> Greetings. My oh, name is damn. Terry Carnation of the podcast Dark Air with Terry Carnation, reading a story for the aptly named Mr. Nightmare. Oh, I like his voice. I think I just how familiar, bro. I am bro. an 18-year-old guy and a freshman in college. I go to school in my hometown so that for my first year I can live with my parents and save money Smart on student move. housing. Smart. I go to Montana State University in Billings, the state's largest city. And no, we don't ride horses to school. We have cars. Oh, in school, I still knew and hung out with most of my high school friends that decided to stay in town for school as well. But in my calculus class, I didn't know anyone. I am pretty outgoing and can. I'm loving this dude's voice the way he's reading it. It's like it's like I'm, I'm watching a, like a a scientific horror show, but he's like narrating it. Like I love this dude's voice. Like pause. No, all right, go back. Be quiet. But in my calculus class, I didn't know anyone. I am pretty outgoing and can easily start a conversation with a stranger, but I strangely found it hard to make friends in that class. Eventually, I just gave up and went to class to learn rather than make friends. All right, so what you're to do. About two weeks into school, this guy I hadn't seen in class before started to sit near me. He would always come in around 10 minutes late and would sit as close to me as possible. Like, damn. It weirded me out, so I would sit as damn, far from the door on, as possible to see if he was actually trying to sit near me. I observed that he would enter class late and walk past at least 10 open chairs just to sit beside, in front of, or behind me. He had this creepy vibe. His hair was always messed up and greasier than a McDonald's burger. His clothes were ripped up and looked ancient. 
and his hands were always black with dirt. I am a neat freak and always keep myself and my things. If you're gonna try to holler, at least be clean, bro. So just looking at him repulsed me a little bit. He also looked way older than the rest of the class, almost like he was 40. Damn. He started to fall behind in class since he never took notes and he started asking me for help. Even though he looked creepy and gross, he seemed very nice and shy. I felt bad for him and would explain problems to him when he asked me to, but tried to keep it casual and not be overly nice. Mm-hmm. One day, I, I he agree. asked me for my Snapchat so I that got he one. could get help when we weren't in class, since Calc was only a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. Oh, Calc, why well, I ran to Calc. I gave him my username. Pre-Calc and Calc. Strangely, he wrote it on his arm in huge letters with a king-sized Sharpie. After class, I was getting in my car to go home and saw that he had already added me and Snapchatted me. I groaned and regretted giving him my username. I got in my car and drove the 20 minutes home. By the time I arrived, I had forgotten about it and went about my day. I should mention now, a girl's name added me on Snapchat on this day too. So I added her back, even though I didn't know who it was. It's him. Later that night, I got another Snapchat from him. I opened it. The first one from earlier that day was of his arm with my username on it. The caption had a ton of blushing faces on it, more than I could care to count. The second was a shirtless picture of him in a bathroom mirror, but it looked like a gas station bathroom. It said, The jeans you wore today were so tight around you, and I couldn't stop staring. I was immediately this weird. out is weird. And considered blocking him. I thought better of it, though, and wanted to avoid an awkward situation in the next class we had together. You know, I didn't reply to him and went about my night. I had a few friends over and left my phone sitting on the the couch, and one of my friends picked it up and said, Dude, who's this Jefferson guy? He sent you like 20 snaps. I grabbed my phone and scrolled through my notifications. I clicked on one, and it brought me to the chat section of Snapchat. The messages started off with him asking why I never replied and got increasingly more angry and aggressive as they went down. Then a picture popped up and I opened it. It was of my front door and it read, Come out right now, in all caps, with about 100 exclamation points. I suddenly remembered I had my location on for Snap Maps. I'm I'm so done with these people having this on, on Snapchat. But this is the crazy part. See, and she would, and I agree, she did nothing wrong so far. She just because someone is dirty or look older or whatever you you just look at as a, I don't know a negative to you, whatever, doesn't mean that they're gonna be bad people. I, that's cool. I, I'm friends with so many weird type of people like that sound like this, but they're not actually weird in real real life. I think. So I agree. She's like, no words. I help you. Boom, boom, boom. I wouldn't have gotten the Snapchat. I'd be like, yeah, you can just have my number. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. And we'll, I'll just like help you out through there. But now you're about to start stalking and creeping this girl out just because she simply, if you like her, bro, this is not, this is not going to get her. Trust me. It's not going to work. It's going to make her run away. I suddenly remembered I had my location on for Snap Maps. Goofy. And he had tracked me to my house. I immediately screenshotted the picture and the messages. One of my friends recommended calling the police. But ding, I ding, was ding. worried since I didn't think he could get in. Flash forward two weeks and I hadn't seen the guy since. One night I was plotting. watching people's stories and came across Jefferson again. I was horrified because I thought I blocked him. I looked at the username and saw that it was the username that I thought was a girl Told adding you. me all that Told time you. ago. Goofy, I, I knew it. I made a fake Snapchat, knowing I would probably end up blocking him. His story was even creepier, though. It was a picture of me walking with my friends in a parking lot earlier that day. Oh. I was pissed now. Pissed? I I'm scared. I messaged him and asked why he wouldn't just leave me alone, and why he couldn't realize I didn't want to be his friend. He only replied with more pictures of me taken over the last couple of weeks. Me walking, me driving, 
Me at the movies with my friends. Sleep. Me at a restaurant downtown with One a girl sleep. Watch. I liked. I was so completely oh. creeped out that I blocked him again. I wish I had saved the pictures. But after I press charges for stalking, I imagine the photos will be subpoenaed for evidence. I have since turned off my location for Snapchat, and I only add back people that I know. Thank you, Mr. Nightmare, for that nightmarish story. Thank you, Tristan, for that indelible nightmare of a story that you've shared with us. Ugh, blood-curdling. Now, if I only knew what Snapchat was, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Is that, is it a, is it a device? I'm not sure. Don't worry about it, bro. Um, but I can only imagine. One can only imagine. And I frankly, I'm most surprised by the fact that someone in Montana is studying calculus. <laughs> I didn't know they had universities in Montana, <laughs> let alone courses like calculus. <laughs> I, bet, I bet they ride horses to class instead of cars. <laughs> oh, Tristan. Stay safe out there, buddy. Stay safe, Tristan. And only add... People, do you know to uh, your your agree. chap snats? Only add friends, and not creepy dudes. <laughs> hey, he's not lying. He's that not was lying. me, man. I ain't lie. Dude, voice was very freaking nice at the end. But yo, oh my gosh, Let's see, and I, I never knew <laughs> Snapchat had that as a feature. And you would think like apps like that would not have it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe just the people I know, but every time I see it, it's always just girls on there shaking ass and whatever, woo, 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 sexual stuff happening. That's all I see. So with an app like that, you would think that's that's a feature you would not want available. And if it is there, like, let people know, like, yo, yours is on. You want to keep it on or not? I don't know. That just sounds dangerous as hell to me. It, it got me thinking about, like, how many stories, how many stories that actually went left, like, far left of, like, people actually going to someone's location. And actually doing something where they didn't make it out of the situation or the situation was really bad. It, it had me at one point like really kind of thinking, like, yo, this is like hell of a dumb feature. I don't I don't get it. But yo, either way, go if y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share your guys are awesome. But till next time, buddies, Charlie's out.